Hey, today I'm going to talk about three musicals. So I'm a part of this Facebook group. It's like a big nerdy Twin Cities geeks group thing. Uh, and on there I asked for some musical recommendations, uh, expecting to get like five responses with like half of the mean Hamilton. Uh, but currently there are over 120 comments on that thread and I'm just blown away. Only like a dozen of them are Hamilton. Yes, I have seen Hamilton and it's good. I like Hamilton. <laughs> um, but I somehow was able to narrow down like almost a hundred different movies down to just three. And the titles of those three movies are to Home 3, I don't know how you say that, Hedwig and the Angry Inch, and a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Yeah. Our first up is To Whom 3. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it, but I'm just gonna go with it. It is an Indian movie, it's in the Hindi language. Uh, the basic premise, it's really just essentially the Dark Knight meets the Prestige. And kind of just smashing those two movies together, but keeping the like total runtime. Uh, last year I watched a good handful of Indian movies, but that was the Tamil language, so it's a different section of India. This is Hindi, so it's kind of the main area of India. I would kind of put this one in kind of the middle of all of the Indian movies I've watched. It's I still, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, quite Liked is my second favorite spot, so it goes really liked, quite liked, liked, meh, didn't like. So it's, you know, four out of five, basically. It was definitely a very fun movie. I liked a lot of the action and the music. It was it was really solid all overall. And like, I liked a lot of the character moments. And there was, there was a lot, there's a lot of stuff to like in this movie. The main thing I didn't like about the movie was it just, it felt very, very bloated. It's almost three hours long. And this story did not need to be three hours long. I, I, like I said, I've seen other Indian movies that are also close to this length, but they didn't, those really didn't necessarily feel bloated. But this one really does. I think you could easily cut out an hour of this movie and it would still be pretty good. And also when I compared it to The Dark Knight and The Prestige, I'm being pretty dang literal. Like there are some definitely plot points from both of those movies that are just lifted and set in this one. Also the setting of this movie is Chicago, which I wasn't expecting. I saw the bean in the trailer, but I thought they were just gonna like go visit for a minute. No, 98% of this movie is in Chicago. There is just one scene, one action set piece that's not in Chicago. Otherwise, it's just Chicago. And it's so interesting to see just a foreign language, foreign movie, but set in a very American city. It's interesting to see a different culture interpret an American place. But since it's Chicago, that definitely like leans more into the whole Dark Knight comparison because if you're unfamiliar, Dark Knight was, a large part of it was filmed in Chicago. So yeah, I definitely enjoyed this one. It was, it was definitely fun. It's not my favorite Indian movie, but it's still, it's still a good Indian movie. I would say if the trailer grabs you, go for it. You're, you're in for a good time. And, and again, it is long, you just, so you might need to take a little break, but it'll be worth it. It's fun. I, I enjoyed it. The next up is... Hedwig and the Angry Inch. This is a 2001 movie uh, based off a Broadway production. The premise of this movie, it's about an individual from East Germany who has immigrated to the US and along the way they had a sex chains operation that got botched. And the movie is just kind of about that person living their life. They're, they're in a band and it's kind of about all their relationships, their failed relationships, and just kind of they're make, making their way through life. It is a very, very 90s aesthetic. It's very like punk. I love the aesthetic of the movie. That was great. And I kept thinking to myself like, oh, this is my favorite song. No, this is my favorite song. This is my favorite song. This is probably my favorite song. So I enjoyed the music a lot to say the least. And it was also nice to see a movie from a very different perspective of mine. I always enjoy finding movies that are very not my life and to try to, you know, better my understanding of the world around me. So yeah, I like this movie. It was really solid. Uh, I, I would recommend it definitely. Uh, if you're in the in the type of mood for like this type of like, feels very like 90s punk type of thing. It, it's good, it's a very interesting story. And I like, I, I dug it. And lastly is, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum. This is a 1966 movie that was also based on a Broadway production. It was an interesting experience watching this movie because like, it started off so strong for me. Like I loved that first song, like the intro song. It was just so funny. It set the tone so well for the movie. And I was just like immediately along for the ride. I'm like, ooh, 
this might be a really liked. I think it's, it's coming off, it's coming off good. But then like the story starts going and I was like, man, it's been a while since like a musical number. This is a musical, right? And then it was like a sensual dance scene. That was kind of funny. Um, but I was like, man, I hope that, like there's actual more musical numbers. Like, yeah, this is fun, but like I want musical stuff. And then we got to the third song and it was just like a love song and I'm like, okay, I guess, whatever. I'm just not into love songs that much. There was more music, but never, none of them really connected to me as much as that first song did. And it just, it kind of just felt like there's just music lacking from the movie. Well, it turns out according to IMDb trivia again, the Broadway production of this had way more music in it. But because musicals were kind of feigning in popularity in the late 60s, they decided to cut a bunch of the musical numbers, including like the most popular song from the Broadway production. So I'm kind of thinking had I watched a stage production of this story, I would have enjoyed it a lot more. I don't know for certain because I haven't seen it, but I really have that feeling. Because there really is a lot of stuff I liked about this movie. There's lots of, like, I liked a lot of the base ideas. I definitely think there's a story worth telling here. It's just the way they did it here, it did not work for me. And that's really unfortunate because I was really excited about it. All righty, now for today's rankings. First up, we have Dome 3. It's in number 32 in the Quite Like section. And then right behind it is Hedwig and the Angry Inch, sitting number 33. Like I said before, I don't like to rate movies that just watch right next to each other, but it just, it just, it just kind of felt right. I couldn't put De Humph, uh, any higher and I couldn't put Hedwig any lower. Just the way it worked out. And bringing up the rear is a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, sitting at number in the meh category. And that is out of a total of 75 movies so far this year. 